Hey, what's up guys? Lux here bringing you a new video and today we're going to be taking a look at Lego Minecraft Polyvax set 30331, the Nether Duel. This set came with 37 pieces and retails for $5 in the US, your typical body bag. Now this comes with a weather skeleton and a regular Steve here, but with an enchantment bow accessory. So some pretty nice things to be included here. It has a little bit of a Nether scenery with a little hint of the new Nether update as well. So that's going to be fun to take a look at here. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, here's the set fully built up here. Not too much to take a look at, given that it's a poly bag, a little $5 set. You're not expecting too much to be included, but obviously we've got a few things here. And first off, as always, we're going to be taking a look at the minifigures. So, so first off here, we're going to start off with Steve. Obviously, this Steve, nothing too special. We've seen him before. Um, same printing and all. The face printing has gotten a little bit better, obviously, in more recent times. Not as good as what it used to be. Now it's getting up there again. And on a poly bag set, you know, that's the last place I would expect it to be, but pretty nice face printing saturation wise or at least more consistent with the rest of the figure we got the enchanted bow here very nice bow here we got this before in the end battle set with the dragon slayer skin in the back there's no printing as we expect with the same old steve skin an update on the sleeve printing would be nice to make it even more accurate but that is pretty much it for the steve figure next up here we got the wither skeleton that was wither skeleton definitely a more obscure or not as common main figure to get definitely a very desirable one as well we have the stone sword, obviously makes sense, that's the weapon they spawn with, that's the weapon they used. And the printing on the head also quite accurate here, obviously the body mold, the same skeletal piece they've been using for other skeleton figures in LEGO, fits here perfectly fine. It's a $5 set, you get two figures included, that's never something to complain about. Now taking a look at the build here, there's a few things to point out, so obviously we got a little bit of a nether rack, mainly structure or build here, it has a little bit of a lava fall on the side flowing down from another rack into a little bit of lava pool we got some nether rack extending here with some glowstone underneath on the side here we also have a torch obviously placed by steve as you would imagine i want to believe to be called some blue wart nether rack i believe that's what it's called you know that, that little grass patch or that blue biome you find another this comes from the blue wart forest so obviously we're near one given that it's included in the sets just a little reference slash hint to the new nether update nice little inclusion there doesn't really do much, but I do like that coloring for that piece and in general. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Like I mentioned before, not too much to take a look at here, especially when it comes to the build. The figure is pretty good in the Wither Scuffins category and the accessory on Steve, pretty up there as well. No complaints there. So, for a low $5 poly bag, this is probably one of the better poly bags. I, I definitely say so. The other two include a Creeper and Steve and Alex and a regular skeleton. I'd say this one has more desirable parts for sure. No questions asked. So, And I mean, since we have time, we can also take a look at the instructions here. Obviously, they're pretty basic instructions, the same ones you would expect from a poly bag. But also, we got a little bit of an advertisement for some of the December 2020 or early 2021 sets here. Pretty nice in the bee farm and obviously the pig house, which uh, we are familiar with. So, yeah, two pretty nice sets here. Definitely a big fan of this bee farm set as well all the figures and stuff included but anyways guys again that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy not too much to take a look at here but still a minecraft set so i'm gonna <laughs> review it and take a look at it and recreate it here on the channel anyways if you enjoy you know what to do subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one goodbye